Welcome to Podcast Marketing Secrets, the place for entrepreneurs, coaches, and CEOs who are looking to grow their business with a podcast, become a key person of influence in their industry, and get their ideal clients to come to them. I'm your host, Al Morenton. My guest today is Brandon Barnum. Often referred to as the king of referrals, Brandon is an award-winning serial entrepreneur, coach, consultant, speaker, trainer, and workshop leader. He serves as CEO of HOA.com, the number one referral network for home service professionals. He is a highly sought after expert in referrals, marketing, sales, joint ventures, business development, and business growth strategies. While a single dad in 1997, Brandon was an early technology innovator featuring real estate property listings from realtors he partnered with and promoted. After learning the art and science of referrals, he increased his annual income 10x from $20,000 to $200,000 in just 18 months. Brandon has since closed over $500 million in transactions by referral and has founded multiple local and online referral platforms and networks connecting more than 5 million members in 195 countries. Brandon has been featured internationally on TV, radio, several books, including Cracking the Millionaire Code and Zero to Hero, and in magazines, including The Wall Street Journal, Business Journal, and Newsweek, to name a few. Brandon is passionate about empowering business owners and professionals with a step-by-step system for attracting profitable prospects and expanding their income, influence, and impact. Welcome to the show, Brandon. (laughs) Thanks, Al. That was a mouthful. (laughs) Yeah, but you have a lot going on, obviously, Uh, right? (laughs) Happy to be here. Thanks for the invitation. That's awesome. Yeah. So um, uh, from your bio, you know, the king of referrals, you're able to uh, 10x your income after learning the art and science of referrals. So, um, so what exactly is that? What is the art and science of referrals? Well, really, it's all about a trust factor, right? What we do is we help people help people and teach people how to really establish themselves as the top choice and make sure that they're famous among their community and their social sphere. So everybody is recommending and referring them like crazy. That's awesome. And is, is that then through the your your raving referrals website yeah so we have uh, at raving referrals you can check it out there's a book Uh, we've got a a whole online course that people can learn from and you can we we always recommend people start by taking the referral score quiz at referralscorequiz.com and uh, you can check that out and that kind of helps you quickly assess where you stand on a scale of one to a hundred in the 10 referral best practices. And from there, once people know what they didn't know, they can identify some of the gaps. They can make quick changes that generate quick results. That's awesome. And then as far as HOA.com, mm-hmm. like, like what, what led you to, to create that? Well, you know, we had sold our last company, which was called Refer.com. We built that to over 5 million professionals around the world that were on our platform to do more business with each other. And, you know, after that exit, uh, I was sitting back and I was actually coaching somebody here in Phoenix. And we started talking about, hey, what if we created like the BNI power team for professionals who served homeowners, right? And so we started out wanting to connect homeowners to professionals they can trust. And the company started as the homeowneralliance.com. And a couple of years in, we realized that domain was too long to fit on the side of the bus. We said, okay, if we could have any domain on the planet, what would it be? Homeowner Alliance, HOA went out and looked at HOA.com, reached out to the owner, made him an offer he couldn't refuse. And now we're on a mission to revolutionize homeowner associations because 53% of homeowners in the U.S. live in an HOA, yet most don't love their HOA. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's for sure. Um, yeah, I, I would like my next place that I live, I'm, I'm trying to look for one that doesn't have an HOA. That's <laughs> right, yeah. It's hard in Arizona, right? So, yeah. So, so for, for sure. And then, so uh, it's it's mostly people that work w- with um, uh, 
that, that help home, homeowners? Basically? We're creating like, a platform. It's really an ecosystem for homeowners. Everything you want in one location. We say, well, it's been said it's like AAA for your home. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is give you everything that you need as a homeowner. Number one, your valuation, your house valuation goes up or down. So we have an automated system that alerts you what's going on. We are where to go to find a pro. So we have trusted vetted professionals who serve homeowners. They're part of our referral network. So we do background checks, make sure they're high quality, five-star uh, type of professionals. And then they have a profile on our platform and we help them build their business especially focusing on what we call referral partnerships. So we have a referral partner blueprint where we teach people really how to create partnerships with the other professionals that serve the same type of client. In this example, it's homeowners, right? But you can apply the same principles to business owners. If you're in the B2B mm -hmm. space, right? Or the house and home space, you want to partner with the professionals that your clients are already coming to and they're coming with the problem that you solve. When you become the solution for other business owners and professionals that they can recommend you to help their clients solve their problems, you're invaluable. And now you can really build a strong business for years to come. That's awesome. And is that something that you t teach in, in the Raving Referrals? Yeah, we teach it in raving referrals and then we apply it in HOA.com. We have an automated, we call it community co-marketing engine, but basically for every homeowner, they have their home safe report, which is all about their home in one location, including their valuation. So we send that to them every month and it includes all of the trusted professionals that serve that community on a hyper local social farming basis. That's awesome. That, that's beautiful. Like, like the whole idea of, of that, you know, the HOA.com itself and how it could help homeowners and then also the, the people that do the work for them, you know, like, you know, like, you know, have a symbiosis there. That's and, it. Win, win, win. Yeah. So that's, that's awesome. And you, you know, you created that, you got that running awesome. And then now you're teaching other business owners how to do the same kind of a thing in their own field, right? Yeah. You know, when, when I learned how to 10X my income, my life changed. I was a single dad, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. making 20 grand a year and I didn't have much money in at all. In fact, I started bouncing my mortgage payments because all of a sudden I had to pay for daycare, right? And I couldn't afford both. So I made a change, got in the mortgage business, had somebody mentor me in what I now call raving referrals and was able to do really well. And now I've just been on a mission for the last 15 years to take that and to equip and empower as many people as possible. Because once you know how to build referrals systematically and consistently, you've got all the business flowing your way that you could ever want and need. That's awesome. Yeah. And that's a, it's a, a better customer too, right? Like a, a referral as opposed to getting like a suspect that comes from an ad or something. Oh, huge. So if somebody is referred to you, they are 400% more likely to hire you. Okay. So it's because of the trust factor. That's what you want to tap into. Now, from a profitability perspective, referred clients are 16% more profitable overall holistically. And on the B2B side, 84% of business to business sales start with a referral. So I don't want to lead. I call it a four letter word. It's something I don't want. I get introduced. I'm getting introduced right now to uh, some top enterprises, companies, because I've got somebody bringing me in at the very top, right? That's what you want. You don't want to go through the front door. You want to go through the back door and get introduced to the top. Yeah, that's awesome. That's like, that's the way I like to do business is like have like a, a center of influence like yeah. a coach that, that coaches a certain, you know, business type, like like fitness or something, you know, and, nice. and, uh, and get referred to to their crew, I guess, you know, their people um, by them. And uh, well, let's uh, apply it to podcasting, for example, uh, a second, because I think it's a great example, Al. You know, the reality is if somebody is out there looking to take their message to the masses, the mm -hmm. word to the herd, as a buddy of mine calls it, right? 
you need to be partnering with influencers, guys like you that have a following and you're helping empower and equip other people, right? Well, the beauty is that somebody can partner with an influencer like you and they can add value to you and you can add value to them. I mean, you're we're doing that right now in this conversation. My goal, my whole reason for being here is not to attract new clients, although that often happens as a result of doing podcasts. I'm here to empower as many people as possible. And when you do that and you focus on giving first, then the receiving comes naturally. That's awesome. That's, that's beautiful. So um, so with a person that's trying to grow their business, like what, like what's the number one piece of advice you can give them? Well, so number one is get crystal clear on what you want to accomplish and achieve. Most people don't have goals that are written down and they're on mission, on purpose. They kind of do life by default. Mm -hmm. And I always teach people live life by design. Focus exactly on what you want to accomplish. We have a, a whole system and program that we've created. This is a win by noon raving referral system. And so literally I start each day going, okay, what is the most important thing that we want to create and achieve and accomplish today? So getting that clarity, that's power. So that's where you start. Number two is asking for help and asking for referrals. A lot of people are ashamed to ask. They don't feel comfortable and confident asking. Now we teach the art of the ask. So let's get to that in a second. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to miss this point because most people, if you go and you ask them for help, they want to help you, right? Especially when you come with a way that you can help them and help you at the same time. But most people are not comfortable asking for help. Don't you find that to be true, Al? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, especially if you're like an introvert like me, you know, like you don't want to bother people. And then also there's a thing where you, like you just don't know how to ask, like like what to say. And, you know, and um, it, it's it's uh, very, can, can be confusing. You know, I'm glad you brought that up. So in the referral partner blueprint and people can download this for free, it's at HOA.com slash blueprint. Um, you'll get the PDF version, but we literally give people a script of exactly what to say. We've got the referral score quiz in there so they can kind of see what the top 10 referral best practices are. Uh, but there is a way to do it and it's been proven and it's easy. Now let's talk about the art of the ask for a second, okay. because if somebody's listening right now, you can actually generate more clients immediately. And the way you do that is to learn the art of the ask. It's real simple. And there's three steps and anybody can do it. And you're going to feel more comfortable and confident once you learn this. And so will your clients. OK, so the first thing you want to do is you want to set the stage. And what that looks like is when you first win a new client or customer, Right before you let them walk away or walk out of your shop or off Zoom, however you work, you want to say, you know, can I ask you a quick favor before I let you go? Would it be OK if after I've proven myself to you and just wowed you with our service, would it be OK if I asked you for referrals at a later date? Now, that's setting the stage. And what you've really done is you've said, I'm going to wow you with my service. We're going to blow you away. And once we've proven ourselves, you're asking for permission to ask for referrals at a later date. Now, you're not putting them on the spot. So everybody says yes to that. And everybody's totally comfortable because you're kind of doubling down on your service statement. OK, so that's setting the stage. Now you want to listen for the referral triggers. That's step two. And that can be listening for things like, wow, this looks so awesome and feels so great. You've helped me make money, save time, whatever it is that your service delivers, you want to listen for that expression of appreciation. And once you hear it, step three is to ASK to GET. So you say, Al, I'm so glad to hear you say that. Remember early on, I said I was going to wow you with our service. And now that you're satisfied and happy, you know, would you say you're wowed? Scale one to 10, how happy are you? Nine, great. What would make it a 10? 10, fantastic. Now, I, I love helping people like you solve this issue, right? And it's, it's not about you. It's all about them. And it's about them helping the people they care about. And that's the key to referrals. People don't refer you to help you. They refer you to help the people that they care about, get the result that they want and solve the challenge that they're facing. 
Yeah, that, that makes so much sense, you know, as opposed to like, hey, can you send a referral over to help me make more money? You know, <laughs> yeah. you know, like the, the, the way, way that, you know, way. it is perfect. Listen, when you the, the key is to ask and you see this book, Ask Behind Me, written by my mentor, Mark Victor Hansen. When you ask, you increase your probability of success dramatically. Right. Mm -hmm. If you're just thinking about it, most people just think about it but they talk themselves out of asking because they're afraid of what the other person is going to think about them. And so instead, the other person doesn't think about them. Nobody cares really at the end of the day, and we all want to help people. So when you ask from a place of service and really offering to solve the problems and challenges of their clients, customers, family, and friends, then you become the solution that helps them help everyone. That's awesome. And and that three-part process is what, what you call the art of the ask? Art of the ask. Set the stage, listen for the referral triggers, and ASK to GET. Right on. That's awesome. I, I like the like little uh, um, the, the sayings that you have as well. It, it's it's <laughs> catchy sayings because it helps people to remember things. That's what it's all about. And I'm glad you brought that up, Al, because most people don't catch that. But where you go to find a pro is very intentional in the way that we phrase that because it's easy enough to remember. When I tell people I'm the CEO of HOA.com, they remember that domain. They can't forget it. You've got to make yourself easy to remember. You've got to stand out and leave an impression on whoever it is that you're speaking to because the reality is they're on to the next in a heartbeat. That's awesome. That, that's awesome. So you're gi giving us a lot of things to think about. And um, it's a so buffet in here, man. It's smorgasbord. Nothing about <laughs> <my value. laughs> it. So, so you um, uh, mentioned the influencer marketing. Uh, yeah. um, so what, what does the future of influencer marketing look like? Oh, so I think that we're going to a time of tribalism. What I mean by that is there's individual communities and people are going to follow those that they resonate with, right? We all listen to people. We hear podcasts. We read stories or watch videos. And there's certain people that we're drawn to and others that we're repelled from, right? In the, as we continue to move forward, influencers are going to have more influence. They're going to capture more attention in the people that align with them and resonate are going to be more drawn to them. And then it becomes, how do we create community around this? And we've been seeing this. This is not a new trend. It's been happening for a number of years, but it's only going to accelerate and people are going to be deeply entrenched, especially with the dilution of trust in traditional media. Let me just say it that way. I think that's the politically correct way to say it these days, right? As the way that we digest news and information changes, we're going to really lean into those that we connect with energetically, vibrationally, spiritually. And so that's the key is you want to win the hearts in order to win the minds of your clients, customers, and your community. That's awesome. That That's beautiful. And yeah, I, I could see that. And, and there's some people that have some like huge followings. You know, so, some, sometimes you just need a little, a little following to be su very successful. But there are some people that have these amazing because like th now that you mentioned that I um, about three years ago, I did a, a, a live live stream or whatever with a, a guy that had like hundreds of thousands of followers and there was thousands of people. And he, he had me just tell a story on on his on his uh, show and it was like impromptu i didn't have anything ready nothing and and i just did it and and it, it told us told the story and uh gave them a little offer at, at the end but it was just like Im impromptu and yeah. his followers were so loyal and so like they, they and they uh because because he recommended at the That's end right. you know because he because he, he brought me on because he liked what i what i do right. and like there was so much business that came in just from his final closing thoughts. It's a trust transfer, right? And we don't know what to trust anymore. And that's what I was talking about, the dilution right. of trust in traditional media. For the first time ever, we don't know who to trust. 
decades ago, we watched TV and we watched those newscasters and they were telling the truth, right? And we believed everything that we were hearing because that was a source of truth. There's no more source of truth other than a good book, which I can right here, by the way, that's the source of truth. But besides that, <laughs> we don't know where to trust. And so when you resonate and align with people, and I think probably the key to your success is you just told the story authentically you weren't trying to manipulate. You were there to serve. Am I right? Yes. And when you do that, you come from the heart and you're there to give and you care about your customer. People feel that. And when they feel that, then they're attracted to it. That's awesome. That's, that's beautiful. I saw somewhere where it said um, something about how to effectively communicate with somebody in 90 seconds. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You want to see a magic trick? <laughs> Uh, I literally call this a magic trick because I use it when I'm out meeting new people and I'll ask them, do you want to see a magic trick? The answer is always yes. And I, I break out these cards. It's a system called bank code and I'll give you the URL in a second. You can take the test yourself, but I, I ask them to read the information on the cards to sort them in order of what's most like them to the least like them. That will help me serve them better and save us both time. And I was literally at a tech event about a month ago. And I was having this conversation with somebody, you want to see a magic trick? And I did. And, I, and as I was having this conversation with him, one of the speakers from the panel came over and she said, hey, I love magic tricks. And so I did the same thing with her. I gave her the cards. And after... 30 seconds, she handed the cards back to me. Let me see the order that she did. She handed the cards back to me in this order, all right? And as I started describing who she had just told me who she was in this card, like an instant disc profile, if you will, mm -hmm. within 60 seconds, sorry, total of 90 seconds, 30 seconds, she hands me the cards back. For 60 seconds, I describe who she's just told me she is. And within 90 seconds of meeting this woman, she turns to the guy I'm talking to and she says, he gets me. <laughs> now, what was hilarious is right before she had walked up, I, I was telling this guy about this system. And I said, the most amazing thing is I'll meet somebody and in 30, uh, sorry, in three minutes time, they will say, he gets me. And literally she said this out of her mouth within 90 seconds of meeting me. So the system is called bank code. When you understand how you're wired and really how your prospect, the, your prospect, your customer, your client, or just the person you want to connect with, when you understand how they're wired, it changes how they make buying decisions. And then you can customize your conversations and your presentations to really serve them most effectively. So if you go to knowyourcode.us, you can take a free assessment and you'll get a report. You'll basically look at the cards, slide them down in order. And when you put in your email, it'll send you a report for free. And it's an awesome program. I can't recommend it highly enough. That's awesome. I didn't yeah. create it. So full disclosure, it's not mine. It's not my creation. Uh, I was the CEO of their technology company to create an AI for that four years ago, uh, mm -hmm. but I don't have any ownership or interest in the company. I just, I love it. It's powerful. Yeah. It seems like it, you know, um, it obviously works because you use it, you know, you've been <laughs> your time, but um, I could, I could see how like, you know, if you're going to have a conversation with somebody, especially if we're on business and, you know, trying to convince them, you, you could just tailor the presentation to them and, and the style that they, that, that, that they, you know, accept feedback, you know? It, it's exactly. And it's all about them, right? So once you understand somebody's bank code, you get them as a human being. Like you don't have to start to think about how they are because now you know. It's, it's almost like their DNA of their personality, right? And That's once awesome. you understand, and there's differences, people don't always operate exactly according to that, but it's their natural preference and how they make decisions in life. It's all values based. So it's super powerful. I call it instant empathy. That's awesome. Instant empathy. That's, <laughs> that's perfect. With the, uh, you, you mentioned AI a couple of minutes ago. Um, yeah. 
how, how do you see AI in, impacting or, or machine learning or anything like that impacting the, the referral uh, space? You know, is AI is changing everything and people are hearing that. And so they're starting to get it. They're starting to use it. You know, we've been using AI for years um, and both on the personality side. And then also when it, when, the, when it comes to referrals, like we're using AI internally at HOA.com to improve communication and relationships. And that's really what it's about. We want to find the best possible match of a pro to a homeowner, for example, and AI helps us do that. And it helps us accelerate the trust factor because when we're able to use AI to help the homeowner identify all the connection points within the network, then it accelerates and boosts that, that uh, trust, trust factor uh, faster. So I think there's a number of ways and it really comes down to how are you using the AI and are you using the AI for good? So, you know, I have another project I'm working on, which is Christian.com. We're creating a hub for Christians and we're working on a, a very biblically based AI so that, you know, because many of the open AIs and that sort of thing, if you ask them about the Bible or Jesus or others, then it's not giving you factual information because it's filtered out based on the agenda of the creators of the AI. So you have to be a little cautious. And that's the concern about AI is Who's mm -hmm. programming the code? Yeah, for definitely. Uh, yeah, I could see that, and and I've and I've heard things like that too about about that with the, with the Bible and and, and how, how it's not translated properly and and, and it's translated differently in different systems and yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it's that, amazing, you know, when you really realize when you go back to like the King James version, but even that I've seen versions from the 1300s that are very different than the ones that we see online. Yeah, I, I could see that for sure, for sure. But, yeah. you know, I think the reality is there's going to be good and bad applications for everything. Uh, you, if you're listening to this show, hopefully you're using AI to get your message out there, to do outreach. I think there's going to be some very important decisions made from both a regulatory practice perspective, uh, because there's a lot of things that are being done to um, manipulate messaging and that's the key. I think we're going to have to, as a as a country and quite frankly, as a society, I think we're going to have to identify AI generated content and communication so that people understand what's real from what's artificial. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I've even been seeing some articles that start out this article used AI and blah, 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 you know, and, and, and it just to identify that. And um I use it in my in my in my business just for to help out with the starting of copyright and stuff like that, just to not stare at a blank page and get some 100%. ideas and then and then tweak it around and stuff and, and and it helps out that way. But I could see how other people could use it for you know different kinds of purposes that aren't aren't as good as others. <laughs> Let's just say that. Well, and, it, and it lets you do what you do best, right? Some people aren't great authors. Now, for me, I sat down and I wrote every word of this book. I didn't hire a ghost author. I wanted it to be a hundred percent me, and so uh, that's what I did. But I did take a chapter and I asked an AI to write essentially the chapter. And what it wrote was pretty impressive. So the reality is AI has an amazing ability to understand and, and communicate concepts. We just got to make sure that it's done with the best intentions and is really there to serve people. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. So um, that what, what you were saying about the, um, the communication relationships and building that trust factor, you know, it, with the HOA, you, you know, I, I could see how that would be so valuable, not just for the business owners and stuff like that, but for the homeowners, they, it's, it's got to make them feel comfortable. Oh, yeah. yeah. Huge, right? And we don't think it should be Angie's list. We think it should be Al's list. You should have your own place with every all the information about your home in one location, including your list of your favorite vendors, your service mm -hmm. providers, the people that you choose to hire to help you with your home and with your life. So that's part of what we're building in HOA.com. Again, where you, where to go to find a pro. That's awesome. That's beautiful. So um, like as far as suppose like there's a person that you know has a business they started and they're, 
you know, they got a few clients, they got a, a little bit of money, but they can't, they, they don't have a huge budget for ad spend. Is there yeah. a way for them to get leads without a big cost. I know there's going to be some cost, but like, well, are cost. you asking on HOA.com for, um, or just or for in a general. business owner? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah. I mean, our membership super affordable. It's three fifty seven for an entire year. So it's less than a dollar a day. Uh, for most business owners though, let's talk about raving referrals. One of the things that we teach is referral rewards. How do you take and create fans and quite frankly, ambassadors out of your clients and then other businesses and professionals who serve that type of client on a regular basis. Well, you can create a referral rewards program where you incentivize them. You can create, you know, coupons and gift certificates where there is a, a benefit for them and there's money, you know, as a reward. You can do charity champion campaigns where you're promoting your favorite charities. So I think the reality is if you're if you're smart and you create performance-based compensation, rewards for people that give you clients and you enroll and enlist them in being your brand ambassador, then that's win-win, right? They're going to help their clients solve their challenges. And if they earn a percentage of the revenue or, you know, some sort of bounty or bonus, it's whatever you decide to reward them with. But that's a great recommendation. Doesn't cost a penny up front. You only pay when you get new clients. That's awesome. Is, is there a way to, um, like, once you find a, a good fit, like there's some somebody that you worked with, another professional, and like, like, I, I, and they um, they can be a good referral partner. Mm -hmm. um, is, is there a proper way to approach them for that? Because yeah. um, I've I've seen it to where like, like I don't need your money, or like you know, I, I you know, like when, yeah. you, when, you, when you when you tell them that you could give them like some kind of incentive. So, so yeah. So what I found over my 25 plus years is that about half the people love to get paid and they like the mailbox money and they're happy to operate under that. The other half don't want it. Okay. So if they want to get paid and they're open to that, fantastic. They love to do it and they get a little mailbox money, free dinners, free car payment. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Right. The other half you say, listen, I would be happy to donate it to your charity of choice, or here's one, here's three you can choose from that we donate for in your name. Now they get the feel good of helping their client and helping their charity without any stigma or, you know, feeling weird about being compensated for the recommendation. That's awesome. That, and I, I could see how that would work for sure. Um, I, I, there was a, in fitness because i owned the gym for like 28 years nice. and there was a company that came out that did something like that it was called so something angels i forgot what it's called mm -hmm. and, and uh it, it what for it was for people that that were existing and then cr also current clients and it's like, like every time you checked in like it was it was like a point towards uh you know giving to to this specific charity that the owner of the gym had you know and you would pick your own or or or, or the, the whatever angels had 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 some that they could re refer you to that were legit and everything and then there was a, something for new members too like like a certain percentage of the you know of, of their you know like initiation fee or whatever would go towards the nice. charity and all this kind of stuff that it was, that might not have been exactly how it worked but that was the gist of it yeah, you know, that's a, a concept. I teach it in the book called Charity Champions. Be a charity champion. Find a charity or a cause that you care about. And people want to hear about what you're doing to make a difference. Like in HOA.com, we take 10% of the revenue and we reinvest it back into the local communities that we serve to help throw events like ice cream socials and barbecues and community-based events that bring neighbors together, right? But 94% of consumers say they want to know what your business is making a difference or what you individually are doing to make a difference in your community. So when you integrate that into your messaging, almost as your mission, right? And you let people know that a portion of the proceeds are going to go to benefit whatever charity that you're passionate about. It makes a huge difference because, again, you win the heart that helps you win the mind. That's awesome. Yeah. And... Uh... Uh, it just seems like a simpler way to do business, you know, like, you know, without all the hype of, 
of uh, I mean, there's there is place you know for other kinds of things like ads and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, people I see so many people just focus on that and maybe and and they're just that that becomes their whole life and ha having a well rounded uh, marketing or business plan that that has a bunch of different steps, including the the referral and making that actually a big part of it. I could see that, at least for me, that seems like it would be like a more relaxing way to do business, you know, as you're just trying to find people that you fit with and you communicate well with and that you could develop that know, like and trust factor with. Yeah, especially for people that are high nurturing, right? When we talk about people that have high nurturing, they want to be connected. They want to be a part of a community. They want to belong to something. Yeah. And if somebody's got high nurturing, which is about half of the people, that there's half that are introverts and they're like, I don't want to do that, right? I don't want to actually have a relationship. And that's okay. Um, so it, it really depends on the individual. But overall, people still trust recommendations from people they know. The science says that 90% of human beings trust recommendations when it's made by someone we know that's awesome yeah 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 for sure you know that that's how that's how i, I live you know that's and how we're wired as human beings we're tribal at the base right i mean i i said we're going to but really we're coming back to i feel like everything's coming full circle we say we're high tech meets high touch because it's really all about the relationship. How are we going to serve these people and win their loyalty so they do business with us, not transactionally, but continually over and over again? At HOA.com, we want to win their service share. What I mean by that is they may have 30 different home services that they use throughout the year for different things that, you know, cleaning their house, landscaping, pool cleaning, who knows, all the different painter, plumber, all the things that we need to help our, our home, right? Our home life. And so we want to help as many of those as possible come through HOA.com so that everyone in our referral network is winning. That's awesome. So, you know, pl playing the long game and, you know, and getting, you know, the, the, the return business and all that. that it's the only game to play. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, because absolutely. Like, and so many people like, you know, that they, like they cut their limbs off by just, just going for that one and done kind of a thing, you know, but, but the way, it's the, the way difference you... between transactional and relational. And I learned this yeah. a long time ago. In the mortgage business, I used to earn about $3,000 per transaction. Mm -hmm. But what I learned was that every client was worth about $10,000 to me over the lifetime of the relationship between the multiple transactions they would do with me, right? As well as the referrals they would give me. So when you treat someone like a $10,000 or $100,000 relationship, it changes the game. You want to go above and beyond and do whatever you need to do to deliver success for them. That's awesome. And and, and like what we're discussing here, it, it, that is like, like if someone wanted to seek you out and uh, like go through the, the Raven referrals, you have a program for that? We do have a, a video course at ravingreferrals.com. So you mm -hmm. can go take a look at that. If you want to check me out, you can go to brandonbarnum.com. That's got, you know, links to HOA.com, raving referrals. I run the Champions Institute, which is a coaching and training company. And uh, so, yeah, that's where you find me is brandonbarnum.com or ravingreferrals.com. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I see your course right here. That, that, that's, that, that's really cool. And, and the quiz as well. That's awesome. So, um, so if someone were to like say, "Hey, this sounds really cool. I want to get re you know that this this referral you know thing going in my business," uh, what, would would the first step be to go to ravingreferrals.com and take the quiz? Or what I would, would recommend you take the quiz. It'll help you see some blind blind spots in your business that just knowing it will help you elevate. Plus, the report will give you some ideas and suggestions on how to improve things. So that's always a great start. If you're a pro who serves homeowners, uh, you can go to HOA.com. We have a wait list right now until the launch on January 22nd, uh, but you can put in the notes. Just let them know that you heard me on a podcast and I'll have somebody from my team reach out to you and we'll see if we can get you early access. That's awesome. That's, that's really cool. And, and you said that on the HOA.com, it's, it's, it's pretty like a hyper local kind of a thing. 
Yeah, we teach hyper local social farming. So for we're creating community pages for every neighborhood in America, just like think of next door. Right. Awesome. We say it's kind of like next door meets Angie's list meets Zillow. Everything about your home in one location. So you'll have a profile about your home. And if you're a pro, we'll get you connected and you can actually license to be the exclusive pro in your industry in the local communities and neighborhoods you want to serve. And it helps you get face to face with homeowners through these events and, and marketing campaigns. And then we remarket you over and over to them so that you become famous in their mind for that profession. Yeah, you keep front of mind. That's awesome. Absolutely. It's beautiful. And, and it's automated. It's set it and forget it. You set up your profile one time, you invite your trusted team and you upload your database into the system and then it will remarket you to all those homeowners every month. And the beauty is it boosts your social score because with our system, we teach one plus one equals 11, right? When you're marketing yourself, you're also promoting your trusted team and they're promoting you. And so you might have let's say a thousand homeowners in your database. Well, if you have 10 referral partners that also have a thousand, your social score is 11,000 because that's the total reach that you have on our platform every single month. Your message is going out to a multiple of people because of the trusted team concept. That's awesome. That, that, so the, tr the trusted team is the, is the referral partner kind of thing. Yeah. And you have your trusted team on your profile, right? So imagine okay. like your LinkedIn profile, except instead of just contacts, or I guess they call them connections awesome. in LinkedIn, here you list, here's the pros that I recommend. So for me as a mortgage lender back in the day, I would have my realtor, my insurance agent, financial planner, maybe attorney, accountant, and then the, the tradespeople, a plumber and a painter and a carpet cleaner and, you know, all the people that I recommend because my clients have those issues all the time and they don't know where to go. And so they go into Google and they're searching cold. And instead, what we're doing is we're creating the trust engine so that you know where to go to find a pro. That's awesome. And just like thinking back, you know, over the years, you know, and like, you know, the different chambers of commerce that I've been in and stuff like that, yeah. the realtors and the, and the mortgage pros and everything the like the, the the most successful realtors that i ever spoke with you know just doing networking and they they always had something like that just like their own little internal black book of That's of exactly every right. everything you know on, on the professional side you know with the mortgage and title and then yep. and then with plumber home and inspector roofer, yeah, yeah, mover, yeah home inspector, right? and, and, and interior everyone. designer home stager so Realtors do this awesome. right. I was just at the National Association of Realty uh, Realtors Conference two weeks ago in Anaheim. And so I got to see all the latest booths and vendors and what's going on in the space. And it's fascinating. But realtors have been doing this for decades, but nobody else really does. What we're helping do is formalize the referral partnerships. And then you mentioned Chamber of Commerce. What we find is there's a lot of people that have great connections and they'll go have coffee or lunch with somebody from a networking event and they have this great conversation mm -hmm. and then nothing happens. There's no action taken. Maybe they remember to refer or introduce somebody with our system. We help you automate that co-marketing. So every month you're each promoting to your respective communities about your partners. So you now you formalize, these are the people I'm building my business with. And as you promote them and they promote you and you refer them and they refer you, you both win more business together. That's so awesome. That, that's beautiful. Yeah. And that, like I said, I, I, it made business even more fun. Um, it's totally fun, man. I used to have this realtor that I got $50,000 a year in commission income from this one agent. She was my top referring agent. But you know what? Not only did we do a lot of business together, but we had a ton of fun together. We went to concerts, uh, all kinds of things. In fact, I've got uh, three referral partners that we just went to the, the new Sphere in Las Vegas mm -hmm. for the U2 concert. We were there opening night, and it was so cool because I'm hanging out and doing business with people that I love hanging out with and doing business with. That's a good life. That's life by design when you love the people that you work with and you get to do the work you love. 
that's so awesome you know like you know like and you're leading from the front you're, like you're doing it and you're doing it right you know like that, that's that, that's the beautiful part you're not you're not just like, like you know spewing out ideas you, you're actually living it you know and uh, living it to the fullest that's that's so beautiful and creating the system for others to do the same that's the beauty is you know with with great power comes great responsibility when you know a thing mm -hmm. you've got to help other people do it right because that's empowering them if you just take that knowledge and hoard it then what good is this life right we're here to make as big a difference and pay it forward to as many people as possible so that's why we've created the training program and then also the technology it's not about the money it's about lives changed that's awesome awesome so uh for for the aspiring uh business professionals uh, you know in our audience that like are looking to grow and scale yep. like what, what 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 is like uh, one key takeaway or big idea for, uh, from this conversation yeah so we we talked about getting clear on what it is that you want to achieve accomplish create manifest write it down put it in writing and have a date that you want to achieve it i've got my goals here right by my side all the way through the year 2050 i know exactly what do i want to accomplish companies i want to partner with people i want to meet and play with places i want to go so get crystal clear number two don't be afraid to ask Go. The more you ask, the more you receive. I was talking to somebody yesterday. He's a business coach, and and we were having this conversation. And he was getting some coaching from somebody else. And they told him, "Look, if you want more clients, call ten business owners every day, and you'll get more clients." Period. It's all about action. So many people think about it, but it's not really. They're not taking action. That's why you know in our system. We measure the results at the end of every day. How many actions am I taking and what results are I am I making? So those are the two biggest things. But then also pour into people. Be relational, not transactional. Follow up with people. It takes time to build partnerships. You've got to really invest in relationships so that people get to know you, like you, and trust you. And then the other thing that I say is, go out to events and invite people to events, right? I was going to that NAR conference, National Association of Realtors, and I invited a few people to come with me. Now, I knew most of them wouldn't say yes, but I still, I hoped they would, but I still invited them because even if they don't attend that event with you, there you still get to add value and invite them out. And when they do come to an event with you, work the room together, introduce each other, understand who it is that you're looking to meet. And when you're going to events, make sure you meet the people that are leading the events, the people at the check-in table. They know exactly who's in the room. Get clear before you ever go into a networking event or a chamber of commerce meeting, exactly who you're looking to meet. With. And that's where you'll find them. You ask the people at the front, they'll be happy to introduce you. That's awesome. That's, that's, that's such great advice. I, I, thank you very much for that. That's awesome. And th so uh, thank you for coming on the show and sharing your insights. You know, um, what's the best way for people to get a hold of you? Yeah, so thank you, Al. It's been my pleasure. I hope everybody will not only learn from this, but take action. That's where the gold is. You got to take action. But yeah, you can find me at brandonbarnum.com. That's got links to my LinkedIn profile. It's got my calendar link in there as well. So if you go to brandonbarnum.com, you'll be able to find me. That's awesome. And we'll be sure to include all the links below in the show notes below the episode. For sure, for sure. That's awesome. Okay, so that concludes this episode with our guest, Brandon Barnum. This is Al Morentum with Podcast Marketing Secrets. I hope you have an amazing day.